YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Q. We're back again with the last and final episode of Q-Tember. We made it through 30 days. Every single day of September, I uploaded. This was a great challenge. I learned a lot. A lot of things happened. There was a lot of growth during this time period. And there's definitely a lot more of you subscribed to the channel now. So that is just great. So after this video, I'm going to take a little break, maybe like a three to five day break. And then we're probably going to go back to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which is actually going to be great because the quality of the videos is going to go up. I have a bunch of cool ideas, but I'm not going to go too into it right now. But just make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you're notified every single time I upload. But yeah, let's finish the finale of Q Timber off with a good one. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the absolute secret. I think this is something really crazy. I actually saw this in another video. I forgot where I saw it, but this just makes like some of the best like rage and like beats for any like type of melody for Yeet. This just fits like perfectly. And by the way, if you guys did not know, you can pre-order Cyber right now for damn near 50% off. Cyber is this new serum bank that I'm dropping, which is also a one-shot kit, a drum kit, a loop kit, and a MIDI kit. And yeah, anyone who pre-orders it right now, this is pretty much the last day to do it. You can get the whole kit for like 50% off. I think it's only 30 bucks right now on my website. Yeah, so if you head over to my website, quintababa.com, and you all you have to do is just scroll down, you can see you pre-order cyber right now you can either just click this pre-order button or just scroll down and click add to cart right here as you can see it's basically 50 percent off 30 bucks right now when it does drop tomorrow it's gonna be 60 and when it actually drops tomorrow there's also gonna be a bunch of options to purchase either the serum bank alone the drum kit alone or for my guys that don't have serum you could grab the one shot kit the one shot kit is just the serum bank turned into one shots for anyone who doesn't actually have serum but yeah this is my favorite kit i ever made Took a lot of time to make this. I mean, it's been about a whole month in the making, maybe a little longer. But yeah, enough actually talking about that. Jump in FL and I'll show you guys the secret. All right, so here is a brand new fresh FL Studio template that I pulled up. And obviously, first thing we're going to do is open up Serum. You guys could either just follow along with me if you have Serum, or you could grab the one-shot kit and follow along just as well. But yeah, so I'm just going to go to Cyber and see if we can find a cool sound. All right, so I like this song called Rockstar. So now... This is what we're going to get into right now. This is the secret. I'm telling you, this is the absolute sauce. So you're going to go to view, scale highlighting, and I'm going to set the scale to a natural minor because it's pretty much the easiest minor scale to work in. It's just all the white notes. So it makes it super easy for you to just like freestyle stuff in if you needed to. First thing I'm going to do is just set a BPM. I think we're sticking with 140, actually. And then I'm just going to lay down some bass notes. So we might just do a two chord progression, but basically what you do to get this really crazy sound. So normally when you go to make a triad, you go like this, just create this super simple triad where you skip one note in the scale, or if you're making a minor chord in any scale, you just skip two notes from the root note and then three notes from that second note and you'll have a minor chord. Basically the main part here is it's super simple. All you have to do is flatten this middle note. And what flatten actually means is just bringing this middle note down a half step. So now you get something like this. So we're going to turn this down a little bit. It sounds super grungy, and you could either just bring this up an octave. That sounds perfect. Or you could create like a melody out of it and go like this. So you could literally do the same thing with this C. Let's flatten this note. Let's see what we got. Might not sound as good. But yeah, that doesn't sound good. So usually the reason for that is because for the second chord, you don't want it to be a minor chord. You actually want it to be a major chord. So we do have scale highlighting on, but you're pretty much going to ignore this part. You just want to find, you want to find a bass note that fits next. So I'm liking this C, but we're going to make a major chord. So what you would do here, skip three notes from the root note and then two. And that's your major chord. And if you flatten the middle note of a major chord, you actually have to bring it down two half steps. So now you got something like this. Let's bring that up an octave. Let's see what this sounds like. We actually might do something like this. Down to G. Right, let's go down to F. Skip three notes and then two. And bring this down two and up an octave. I'd be able to do something like this too, mess with the bass notes. All right, so I'm just gonna stick with this and duplicate it over. And we're gonna duplicate that over for eight bars. And then what we're gonna do is just route that over to the mixer track, just EQ it a bit. We don't want the sound to be like too full. And then next thing we're gonna do is just grab a lead and see what we could do if we could get a little counter melody going.
right, so I duplicated that over, and then we're gonna go in and probably find like one more sound. Actually, I'm gonna do a like some kind of bass now. The bass I'm using is called Syrup, obviously from Cyber. We're just gonna follow the root notes. We'll just stick with two notes like that. I'm gonna turn this lead down a bit, and then let's grab one more sound in Serum. So we're gonna go back to my Cyber Kit. Uh So yeah, we'll keep this super simple. Just duplicate it over like that. So I'm gonna grab one more sound, probably like, actually you know what, we're just gonna keep it like this for now. So we're gonna track everything out and then we're just gonna EQ out all the melodic parts to take out that low end. But yeah, that's the melody right there. I mean, I think this turned out fire. Um, so yeah, that was like the secret right there. I mean, just playing around with that middle note and flattening it. I know you guys see me use the scale highlighting a lot, but I'm starting to stray away from that a little bit because it's it keeps you like too much in a cage when you're making your melodies. Yeah, make sure you guys use this for the some of the beats you're making. Let me show you guys the cyber drum kit. I'm telling you, this thing is crazy. Crazy free style of beats. We're just looking for something short for the Hyatt. I'm going to use this one called Weapon. Do something as easy as this. And I already know exactly what we're gonna do for like the clap and snare pattern. We use a clap called Let's Get This Shit. Then we're gonna grab a snare for like that second clap that's supposed to hit. One right here. Yeah, so now we're just gonna turn that bass off and we're gonna grab an 808. We're gonna grab two 808s, I think. So first, I'm gonna grab Twizzy. Then we're gonna grab Church as well for now. I'm gonna click Cut Itself on both of them. And then let's see what we can do. Then let's see if we could go into church. Maybe turn this up and going down to F. We're just turning that up a little bit and then I'm adjusting the envelope settings like this. We're even going to turn this 808 up a bit. We might change this first one out too. And we're just going to adjust the envelope like this. And then now we're going to go in and click Control L. And we're just going to have it stop. Have the 808 stop right there. Then we'll go into the other one. You can do that by clicking K on your keyboard. Control L on these as well. And then we're just going to turn these up a little bit by scrolling. That's perfect. And then you can click G to go back to the previous one. And now we're going to adjust this part of the 808. Boom. And then like this again. Get this over probably. And then we'll bring this last one up. And then just duplicate that over. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just kind of mix this a little bit better because it's kind of a little crazy. So we're going to bring all the drums with the mixer track. And like I said, this is the secret sauce video for these Yeet type beats. So you guys know I had to include that bell. So in the one shot kit, I did include this one file called secret. You guys should already know what this is, but we're going to drag it in. Turn it up, of course. Track it out over to, let's do fix track four right here. Get that over and then let's just turn that up a bit now 
that's the whole B right there. So we're gonna arrange it real quick. And all you do is split by channel on everything. Drag everything out here. And I'm just gonna duplicate it over the bunch. And then we take everything out. And we'll just have the intro be like this. Actually do something. Go to the master. We'll just put on a fruity love filter. And we're gonna bring the cut off all the way up. Create automation clip. Also create an automation clip right here. We're gonna have that mix come all the way down. Right when the drums hit. We don't want any of that resonance coming in when the drums are there. We'll just do this. So we're going to go back into the cyber drum kit and I have a few effects in here. And we're going to grab this little like barrel shot, put it right here, track it out and just bring it down a bit. And then for this second drop right here, what we'll do is this is when we'll bring that bell back. Alright guys, so that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the full month of Q-Timber. If you guys are here and you watched every single video, thank you so much. Shout out to you guys. It really means a lot to me. Just because q is over does not mean that I'm going to stop uploading. We're going to be doing probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm going to figure out a schedule super soon, but I'm definitely taking a little break for now. Yeah, like I said, that is all I got for this video. That's all we got for Q-Timber. What a run. Hell of a ride. Make sure you guys hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.